This is a pack of the most handy and useful motion presets. It works with Animation Composer, an awesome free plugin for Adobe After Effects. Let's take a look at what you can do with it. First, I select a layer. Then I select a preset and apply it to the beginning of that layer. I then apply another preset to the end of the layer. I can remove the first one and apply another and change the duration. Just like that. It's that easy and quick. Now let's take a look at the workflow. Here's a composition that's full of layers. I'll select the text layers and apply this preset as the in transition. All right, next I select the donut layers and apply another preset. I'd like to scale it up. This looks good. All right. Now I'll open the transition shifter tool and stagger the layers by one frame. Great, it's looking better. Let's do the same thing for the text layer. Great. Let's say I'd like to animate it differently. I'll select the layers and remove all presets. And I'll add the Scale Overshoot preset. Great. Now let's animate it out from the scene. I'll just adjust the workspace a little. And the work area. And here we go. I'm going to apply a different preset to the donuts. Let's preview it. I don't like it so I'll remove only the out transitions. And I'll animate the position to the left. Let's preview it. Great. Then the text layers to the right. And let's stagger the transitions again. I'll open the transition shifter. Set the staggering to affect only the out transitions and set it to descending. Let's preview it. OK. Then let's do the same thing for the donuts. Here we go. And let's preview it. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I'll undo this and set it to ascending. Here we go. Now let's preview it. Okay, this is what I want. I'm done, so let's preview the whole thing. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? There's so much more you can do. Using the effects control panel, you can make adjustments to animations. Each preset has different properties that can be adjusted. In this case, I can adjust the position. I'll adjust the positioning of the out animation for the text layers. Hold on. Here we go. And for the donuts, I'll change the number of bounces. Then, with this set to 3, I'll copy the in transition from this layer to the others, first selecting Copy in Transitions. I'll then remove all the in transitions from the other layers and press Paste. And here's what we've got. You can animate the same thing in many different ways. Now, what if I'd like to change the timing? I'll select the donuts and open the transition shifter once again. I can simply drag the time indicator to move the transitions in the timeline. Or I can type the value manually. Once you learn how to use this, it will save you a ton of time. This bar chart is another great example. It has already been animated using a scaling preset, but here's the cool part. I can rescale the layers. And it still works. This allows for much greater flexibility than the use of the keyframes. And with these presets, you can animate a text. Here's an example.
As you look through the layers in the timeline, you can see that everything is animated using the motion presets. It's the same workflow. Select a layer and apply a preset. Here is the same composition again. I've just added a camera, animated it using a few keyframes, made all the layers 3D with just one click, and this is the result. So, as you can see, it can even be used for 3D animation. Let's look at other use case examples. Now let's take a look at what this pack includes. Overall, there are more than 1,000 motion presets. Even though there are so many presets, it's very easy to find exactly what you're looking for. The presets are organized in folders according to the specific properties that they animate. For example, these animate the position. Now let's take a look at some scaling presets. There are various types of easing functions, ease in and out, ease in, linear, or overshoot. Let's look at position, rotation, and scale together. Sometimes there are more types of easings inside one preset. Plus, you can expand each one and choose the direction. Those were some of the transition presets. There are also effect presets. These animate the layer over time. For example, jumping. Or a wiggle effect. And there are also some really funky ones that you can play with like this one. It's very easy to use, and there's also a simple user guide full of tips and tricks. You get a ton of animations, you can combine all of them, you can control everything you can have a full control over in and out animations, and everything works with or without your keyframes. People who have purchased it love it. This tool could not be more awesome. Get it, and you won't regret it, guaranteed.